giants in my face it's really quite unfortunate i look awful but brandon is sleeping so i'm not gonna scare him don't you worry but it is snowing and i think this is the first snow of the season but it stopped a little but it's supposed to pick back up so he's gonna be so excited because he loves snow so i didn't wake him up but I'm just gonna let him sleep because he needs his beauty rest. <laughs> okay, so me and Brennan just got back from the gym and we worked out for, I guess, a little over an hour. And now I'm gonna make us breakfast, lunch. I think I'm gonna make like meatless. <laughs> Ew, my zit is raging! Like meatless tacos or meatless like quesadillas, something like that. So it's gonna be pre me. And there are Brenny's meatless tacos. I didn't have sour cream, so I just put like dill. Um, yogurt dip on it so hopefully it doesn't bring in like too much of a greek flavor but it does look good try it see see if it's any good i hope it's okay oh, oh great it's terrible update he got a second serving. He likes it. Domestic Julia back at it again. So sorry the lighting is kind of bad in here. Um, but I just wanted Brennan's out there watching the Eagles game and I don't want to bother him. But um, I kind of want to just come on here and vent a little bit because I'm a little frustrated with the situation that has taken place. Sorry if you can hear my dryer in the background. So I recent okay, so I'll just start at the beginning. So I'm new at my university, so I don't really know anyone. Well, I didn't know anyone when we first started my semester, especially in my marketing class. It's like a big lecture of like, it's not a big lecture, it's a small lecture compared to where I came from, but it's like 90 kids or whatever. So the first day of class I sit down in a row that's empty and I sit by the wall because there's a charger and my phone was dying, whatever. So I was charging my phone and then this group of two soccer players and four female athletes, I don't really know what sports they play, I don't really give a flying crap what sports they play, come in and they all sit down and... Um, yeah, so they all sit down, and I was like, all right, whatever. <laughs> I don't know these people, but that's cool. Um, the one girl was really, really sweet to me. Um, it's cool. So then the next class, they all sit at the same place near me, and my professor told us to all get in groups of six for our group projects. I didn't know what this meant at the time. There were five of them. We needed six people, and they asked me to join the group, and I was like, you know what? Sure, why not? Like, I consider myself an athlete, they're athletes, like, we should all get along, whatever. Um, I never told them that I was a cheerleader or whatever, I don't, didn't think it was really relevant. Um, I, told, I was telling, talking to that one girl, and I know that she kind of knew I was involved in something, but she didn't really know that I considered myself an athlete or whatever, so, you know, we would just do a small group projects throughout the semester. They weren't really big parts of our grade, but we'd do small group projects, and this one boy in particular would always shut down my ideas and I consider myself to be a really like creative individual when it comes to making marketing plans and such. Um, I did an organization in high school called DECA where me and my best friend Hannah, you know her, we would make a promotion plan and we would do so well. Like we went to nationals almost every year of high school and yeah, we were good at it. That's what I'm good at. Um, that's why marketing is my major, but he would always shut down my ideas. So now it rolls around the end of the semester. Um, we have a competition. So it's like the whole class, all the groups are in competition to make this promotional strategy for this organization that promotes volunteering through the university. So we are basically helping them amp up their marketing and their advertising, etc. And we had to come up with several ideas. Um, and I felt as though, like, I had a lot of really good ideas. I would put ideas out there, and they'd be like, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And they'd, like, write it down. And this one girl in particular kind of was the leader of this whole project. She made herself a leader. I certainly did not vote her leader. And she kind of just, like, took over everything, just wanted control of everything, pretty much. And like I said, I do have a background in this stuff. Like, I do enjoy making promotion plans. I do enjoy marketing in general. 
and they just really weren't giving me a chance to contribute that much. But, you know, they held meetings, I would go to the meetings, they told me to, you know, do my outline, I'd give them my outline, they told me to do the PowerPoints, I would do the PowerPoints, whatever. So I did everything that this leader told me to do. I did my part of the project. Oh, another thing that really bothered me, they never told me they were making an advertising video. She makes this video and she puts it on YouTube. She couldn't figure out how to save it in 1080p um, HD and she couldn't figure out how to make it public and she couldn't figure out a bunch of different things and it's like, if you took the time to ask people around you, do you know anything about this? Like, I could have met, I could have made such a better video than she made. She literally made like a video, like a photo montage on, on, uh, what's it called? Not Movie Maker, iMovie. I was like, if you just took the time to ask me to do it, I could have done it. And you know what? She didn't give me that chance. The video was not great. That's beside the point. But, so, then we present. I think I did an, a very good job presenting. Like I said, I have a background in this. I'm good at presenting, whatever. Um, they just were very cold to me. They didn't, you know, they acted like they were better than me, and that is something that I cannot stand. Fast forward, our presentation went well. We won the whole thing, okay? We won. Awesome, cool, we won. Yay, woo. Then peer evaluations roll around, and I see the leader of the group erasing her paper, like doing math, because we had to like allocate like who did what. Like So I gave everyone equal 20s to equal 100. <laughs> Um, she was like erasing, like clearly doing some serious math, like, oh, I did this and she did this and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I swear to goodness, if my grade suffers from this, I'm going to be so pissed because they did not even give me a chance to, to show them what I could do. I checked my grade this morning. Mind you, she said the winning groups all get A pluses. I got a B. And you know what, this sounds so petty that I'm getting so mad over a B, but I know why I got a B, because these people think they're better than me, and they decided, you know what, we're going to say that she didn't help because we don't like her, or I don't know what their reason was. I And at the end of the day, I don't know what, what their motives were doing that. I gave them all good scores, even though I thought they might give me a poor score. Um, I did my part. I went to all the meetings. I know I did everything I could, but the fact that my grade suffered for those people just being nasty and just putting that energy out there like makes me so flippin' mad. Like that is not fair at all. So now I have to take the final. The final was optional and I wasn't gonna take it because I was like, I definitely getting an A on this project. Like this is what I'm good at. Now that I got a B on the project, I'm gonna have to take the final. And if I don't do well on the final, then I'm not gonna get an A in the class. And it's because of those individuals. And this is, I think this was like 20 or 30% of our grade. So it was like a big chunk of our grade. And it just makes me sad acting like they're better than me because they're athletes here at this school. It's like, really? Like, you're all friends. Congratulations. Like, I'm meeting people too. And I would have picked a different group now that I have friends in this class. But I'm just so upset that, like, their freaking nasty attitudes, they basically treated me like I was just some irrelevant NARP <laughs> when they don't even know who I am. And I'm just kind of bummed that, you know, people sometimes suck. And I'm just venting. I know it's not, like, anything serious, but it's like, you are not better than anyone. And no one should act as though they are. Because that's the karma you're putting out. You're going to get it right back. And I know making this video is, like, not productive at all. But I just, like, really wanted to vent. And, like, I like venting to you because, you know, some of you leave, like, really sweet comments. And I'm sure you'll tell me what to do. Um, I did email my professor and I like sent her this long email saying I did my part in this project. Um, I told her I was very upset because they were all friends and I feel as though I've been graded unfairly and I also feel like it's unfair that she gives us our grade based on the opinions of our peers when they're not even qualified to grade me. They don't know how intelligent, how valuable I could have been to this project if they gave me that chance. So if she doesn't respond to my email, I'm going to go talk to her and give her this spiel because I'm very, very frustrated. Um, I do take my, obviously take my studies very seriously. I've been studying all day and I'll be studying all week. And it's just really unfortunate that people are just petty and people just suck, but you guess you just got to keep rolling and you, I just... 
I just have to know I just have to like remember that that's the karma that they put out and they're gonna get it right back that's the energy that they're putting into the universe that's what they're gonna get right back that's what I believe but I just needed to vent about it because people suck and I'm very very frustrated and I'm I want to drop out <laughs> I'm not going to but I just I want to drop out it's just so annoying people suck Sundays are for football and finals cramming. I'm late and I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna get changed and me and Brennan are just gonna like head to bed. Um, I had a okay day after I ranted to you guys. I didn't really vlog much because I just wouldn't, didn't want to send bad vibes your way. I don't know. I'm so like weird like that, but I just didn't want to vlog if I wasn't in like a great mood. And yeah, I mean, I'm allowed to get upset over things. I am human. Everything's not always honky dory with me. And today I'm just kind of like down a little. And I know it might sound stupid that I'm getting very upset over um, a B because even if I don't take the final, I will get a B in the class. But um, just take away from this that um, don't settle for less than you deserve. And I know that I deserve an A, and I'm going to get an A. Whether that means um, talking to my professor and telling her that I feel like this is unjust or just studying my butt off for the final and just knowing that the universe will give people that took that A away from me what they what they deserve. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and again sorry it was so ranty. I promise I will be taking you more places and doing more things once finals are over. I can't freaking wait. This week is going to be rough. Just stay tuned for me being humanly in a bad mood but i hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you had didn't have a good day like me i just know that tomorrow is a new day i want to wish you happy holidays merry christmas to all and to all good night see you in my next video and a happy new year